another public defender uh, being, uh, being nominated, and I thank Senator Hirono for bringing that up. Uh, and uh, is it permissible to move that all of the, the entire families, uh, <laughs> it was wonderful to get the introduction of your families, uh, you'll all be part of the judicial team uh, after a vote, hopefully. Um, I want to go to Senator Cruz. Uh, I know in Vermont we had a real debate. Uh, we have a Republican governor, Democratic legislature, so it was divided. But we were really struggling with what to do uh, all around but particularly with folks who were incarcerated <clears throat> because it was seen to be uh, a very, very uh, dangerous health situation, not only for the inmates, but for uh, all the folks who work there. And uh, there were significant adjustments that were made uh, in, that in normal times, pre-COVID, would probably not have been made. Uh, and it did include early release, a release of a number of people. There was always a focus, obviously, on uh, uh, making certain that people who were regarded as extremely dangerous would not be uh, set loose. So uh, whether everybody got it right, uh, I don't know. But what I do know is that in Vermont, we made significant accommodations. Uh, and I think uh, our public health was benefited by it. And I also do want to say, I think it's a fair debate about uh, the prison system and whether our uh, approach to uh, uh, justice uh, is over-reliant, because uh, uh, we do have an extraordinarily high uh, prison population, second only uh, to Russia. So I think it's a fair question for uh, people uh, who are concerned about justice to take into account the question of whether there's alternatives uh, or other ways uh, to provide for public safety as opposed to just rely uh, on prison. I mean, the three strikes uh, laws that we had, the uh, excessive, uh, the, the differential sentencing for crack cocaine or powder cocaine, there's a whole array of things. So I just want to acknowledge that that is a ongoing debate. Um, the, uh, Mr. Fanzone, I thank you for your work. I just want to make sure that you'll continue the effort to try to have more transparency from that office. That's really important, I think, to all of us. Yes, Senator. I think one of the one of the I think best practices of the office is to be as transparent as it can be about its opinions. And I think it has a presumption that its significant opinions would be made public. There's times when uh, when officials or agencies right. ask for advice and they seek uh, ask for confidentiality. We have to respect that. Right. But, but in general, we'd be thank you. And I'm just going to go down for each of you because if you know by the definition, if you're a lawyer, you're advocating for your client. So you're oftentimes advocating not necessarily for things that you believe in, but are legitimate arguments or legitimate positions on behalf of your client. Uh, but are you, you, and you play a different role as a judge. So I just want to allow you each to affirm that in your role as a judge, it will be your view of the law and the facts as opposed to your personal point of view that will be the basis upon which you make your decisions. Uh, uh, Judge Kyle? Y yes, Senator, that's uh, correct. Um, I practiced uh, in private practice for right. 28 years, uh, and I was an advocate for 28 years. Right. And, and when I became and a judge, I had to <laughs> turn that off and uh, keep an open mind for all. And issues. Professor Ru Russell, I see you got you got a you got some backup here with uh, uh, Mr. McKenzie. Uh, <laughs> thank you, but uh, can you do that? Yes. So Judge McKenzie was my first uh, judicial role model, and and remains um, remains my role model. And right. so I think it's critical that judges um, approach their work with an open mind, setting aside any past experiences or personal views, um, and consider each case individually. Um, whenever I Peer before court, that's the kind of judge yeah. I wanted for my clients, and that's the kind of judge I would want to be. Mr. Fanzo. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Senator. If I, if I was fortunate enough to be confirmed at the Office of Legal Counsel, my North Star would be delivering frank and independent advice, free of Great. my preferences or the policy preferences of the Thank administration. Thank you. I yield back. Thank you, Senator Welch, and thanks to all the nominees. Uh, just a logistical note, if you receive written questions, if you could have them back to Thank us by the end of business on November 8th, I'd appreciate that.